Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if there's a touchpad delay on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop. So if you notice your touchpad's responding very slowly or there seems to be a delay between when you're making the action versus what's showing up on the screen, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you make a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or an external drive. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current users folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder, so double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder, double click on it. Should be a Windows folder in here, scroll down, and you want to double click on that. Should be a current version folder, double click on that one as well. Now you want to go down to Precision Touchpad, right here, just left click on that one time. On the right side, locate a value that says AAP Threshold, double click on it. In the Value Data field, delete whatever's in here, type the number zero, and then select OK. And then once that's done, that should hopefully be all you need to do. And then you would just have to go restart your computer at this time for the changes to take effect. And there you go. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.